Okay, so this is our game so far. Okay, so now what we're gonna add is tire smoke, which if you have the standard asset, which is free in the asset store. Now as you can see, it, we already have a uh, prefab that does just that. We can maybe modify it a little bit, but that's basically what we're gonna use. So let's take that out of the sky car, let's delete that completely, and let's put it in our vehicle. Make sure to position it. Okay, so once you've got your particle, make a prefab of it and delete it from the scene completely. Next, you want to add the prefab to your all your four wheels. Make sure to make sure to properly position it in all of your four wheels and group it into a uh, folder. Once you've placed your smoke particles into a folder, you want to create a new C# -sharp script that controls the car effects, and we're going to call it car effects. The first thing we want to do in here is import the controller class. So simply do a, a private variable, then in start, just get the variable. This will get the controller that is attached to the same game object. The reason why we need controller is that we want to vary the, the amount of smoke that comes through the emitter. Now let's get the smoke in a array and let's build two methods. One to start the smoke and one to stop the smoke to loop through the smoke particles we're gonna use a for loop we're gonna say smoke in the index of i dot play and then we're gonna do the same to stop the smoke and in here we're gonna do stop so this will simply play and uh, stop the particles which is gonna work fine if we want a uh, set amount of uh, particles so let's set this up in the controller and in here when we lose traction this is where we check for wheel hit and in here we, uh, we want to add one new line so in here we want to check if the sideways slip or the forward slip is greater than 0.3 and then we want to do a variable in here Let's do it down here and say hide an inspector, public boolean, pause, and in here we're gonna check any of these conditions is true. We wanna set this play pause to true. Else we wanna set it to false. And in, in core effects, we wanna do a fixed update where we check the controller. First we wanna say if this condition is true, we wanna start the smoke, else we wanna stop the smoke. Let's try it. Okay, here is what we got so far. It creates the smoke, but it creates a little bit of smoke and it's hard to see. So now let's make it that this uh, smoke varies by uh, according by the speed of the vehicle. This is the whole entire code group that I used. I'm also changing the emission rate over time so if I'm going too fast it's gonna emit more smoke and if I'm going slower it's gonna emit less smoke and I have declared a smoke flag so it doesn't play the, emi the emitter every time this is called. Okay so this is our final result It uh, detects if we're not sliding. If we are, it's gonna play the smoke. 